If you've been watching my channel since I moved to London, you may have noticed that cooking is not my strong point. Typically when people go to university and move away from home, they learn how to cook, but at Cambridge you don't get much of an opportunity to do this. The colleges are essentially catered, there's a meal, there's breakfast, lunch and dinner, they're available every day if you want it, and the kitchens are usually small, like really tiny, and don't include an oven or a freezer. So I just avoided making food for the three years I was there. When I graduated and I moved to London, it quickly became apparent that I had no idea how to cook. So for the last couple of years, I've been living off ready meals, frozen food that I can put in the oven, and takeaways. But I'm 23, and I figured it's probably about time I changed this and learned how to make food properly. So welcome to Cooking with Jake, where I'm gonna try to learn how to cook and make proper meals for myself. I asked you guys on Twitter what I should begin with. A few people suggested pasta, and that seems like a, a really typical student-friendly meal, something I should have been making for the last few years. Spaghetti bolognese is a classic dish that everyone likes. This is usually the form that my spaghetti bolognese comes in. It comes in this plastic packaging. Uh, you can freeze it so it lasts forever and then you put it in the microwave for seven minutes. But today I'm gonna try to make the pasta sauce from scratch. In theory, it'll taste nicer. It might be cheaper, but we'll see about that and it'll be a good learning experience, if nothing else. So this is my kitchen. It's been quite underutilized for the last year while we've been living here, but I'm gonna make use of it today. All right, I'm gonna Google this because I have no idea how to make spaghetti bolognese. The first result, BBC Good Food. It's got 171 reviews. It's at five stars, so it must be nice. Let's try this one. All right, there's quite a lot of stuff in this, a lot more than I expected. <laughs> Um, and what am I going to make this in? A large saucepan. This flat came with some pans. Um, there's this, but it's not non-stick, and I imagine that will be a problem with meat. Hmm. I don't know, but I'm going to have to go shopping. This took so long to find everything. I bought a new pan. I also bought a tin of plum tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, more tomato stuff. I got carrots and an onion, this cute little bottle of red wine, olive oil, bacon, mince gallery sticks, red chilies, garlic, oregano. Turns out it's some kind of hub. I also found next to it uh, these little bay leaves. I found these totally by accident. Uh, I thought I'd buy them. I also found these packeted I guess more fresh bay leaves, so I just got both to see what the difference was. Rosemary, basil, or basil, I still don't know how to pronounce that. I had no idea what type of cheese to buy, it said parmesan, but I could only see cheddar and this was the cheapest. I don't like cheese, so I've never bought cheese before. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be useful. Beef stock cubes, and finally, spaghetti. That's a lot of stuff. It says, put a large saucepan on medium heat and fry the bacon. But then it says just add the onions, carrots, celery, garlic, and rosemary. What that? But this is stupid. I'm not just gonna put the whole onion in. It doesn't tell me what to do with it. Oh, the ingredients list says finely chopped. Um, I've got a chopping board. This really fancy thing here. Let's see what we've got in terms of knives. I think these ones are the sharpest. Oh, right, how do you chop an onion? I, I don't I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google this. How to chop an onion. Cut the top, then slice in half. Is there a video? Let's watch the video. I start by cutting off just the top, half an inch or so. Oh, she's got a huge knife. Lay it flat side down. So it's I need new knives. Okay. So she cut the top off. <laughs> Which is the top? Let's cut this bit off. And then she cut it in half, like this. Oh, now I can peel it, okay. Toward me, and I'm gonna make vertical cuts going all the way around the onion. Okay, so she does this. I'm gonna chop my fingers off. Ah. Oh wow, it's chopped. 
Okay, that'll do. I'm too scared to cut the end. These still look a bit big. Can I just sort of mash it with the knife now? Oh, it's going everywhere. I'm just going to put half of everything in because I don't need to serve six people. So just going to slide it in, just like that. Half number two. Oh god, my eyes. This one's a bit less finely chopped, but I think that's okay. You get a bit of variety in the dish, you know? Okay, ready for this chopped onionness? Oh, missed that one. Look at that. I'm not sure I've peeled this enough. What's next? Carrots. Trimmed and finely chopped. I don't know what trimmed means. Oh, this is easier than an onion. Look at this. Oh, wait, I forgot it was meant to be fine. <laughs> Huge chunks of carrot. Oh, I probably should have thought this through better. This is going to take forever. This is tedious, isn't it? It was morning when I started this. It's getting dark now. Right, what can I do now? If I turn them sideways... No, oh, this doesn't really work. I don't get it. How do you chop in, like, three dimensions like this? Can you eat celery... raw? Oh, oh, it's horrible. Oh, why would I want this in anything? Oh, it says wash before use. Okay, let's start again. I need to Google this one. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand. I cut the whole thing of celery. Like that. I go, what is she doing? Too. I don't want to have a big hunk of celery in my mouth. I want to have a little hot. And look at how easy. That's like oh my 20 God. pieces of celery being cut at the same time. I don't know, can we cut it again? And now if we do it this way... Oh, look at that. How to chop garlic. Oh wait, I only want one bit of it. So I think that is the garlic clove. And this guy just took his knife and then like smashed it. Oh, that didn't work at all. That just mashed it. Now I've got mashed garlic. And what do I do? I've got so much garlic. I thought I needed the whole thing. So next we've got these rosemary things. Ooh. Leaves picked and finely chopped. Is it the leaves I want? Or the rest of it? Does the packet tell me what to do? No. I'm going to assume I want the leaves. To chop rosemary, first start by cleaning the leaves off the stem. Now that you have all your leaves off the stem, you're going to run your knife through the leaves. No way in hell I'm going to be able to do that. She just sort of chops them. How? The, the, the soft leaves, you... <laughs> Alright, there's some sort of rosemary confetti. One red chili seed... seeded. What? <laughs> oh, they just kind of fall out, that's good. Let's just use this bit. Ah, it's in my eyes. Right, I'm bored of cutting this. That'll do. Okay, here's our pan. And now we start step one of <laughs> the recipe. Medium heat with a tablespoon of olive oil. Add the bacon and fry for 10 minutes. Oh, the bacon needs to be chopped. Ugh. I'm locked out of my bacon. My vegetables have probably gone bad by now. And I guess I just cut this into the pan. Get all the seeds and bits of vegetables in there as well, that were on the, the chopping board. Give that a little bit of a stir. Fry for 10 minutes. Okay, so until 10 to, it's 10 to 6 now. Okay, this is starting to burn. Um, let's turn it down a little bit. The next thing to do is to add the onion, carrot, celery, garlic and rosemary. Add the mince and cook stirring for three to four minutes until the mince is browned all over. Here we go. Oh, I'm nearly dropping the paper in. Go on, get in there, mince. Next is to add the tin tomatoes, the chopped basil. How do you chop basil? I don't have time to look this up anymore. My stuff's burning. I guess I can add the tomatoes. 
Oh god, it's splashing everywhere. Right, so this is the, the basil. I don't really know how to chop this either. I'm just going to like sprinkle some of this in. Bay leaves. Do I chop this? It doesn't say to. Alternatively, we've got mini ones. And why do, why do they come in these two forms? Who knows? But let's just put one of those in. Tomato puree. Oh, it's closed. How do I open this? I can't open the, the tomato puree. It's sealed. What is this nonsense? Oh, I can use the other side of the cap. That's clever. We want a stock cube, the chilli, the wine and the cherry tomatoes. We can add the chilli because that's done. This stock cube. Don't even know what it is to be honest. Pull the wine in. Okay, I think I've got everything in here now. What do I do next? Bring to the boil. Cook for one hour, 15 minutes. Why does it take so long? I'm starving. Who has time for this? Okay. One hour, 15 minutes. Stir in occasionally until you have a rich, thick sauce. I guess I'll use that time to tidy up this disaster everywhere now from chopping all of the vegetables. <laughs> thing to do is obviously cook the pasta. This should be a little bit more manageable than everything else so far. Although estimating the right amount of pasta to use is an impossible task. I can't get the pasta into the pan. There we go. It looks a little bit like vomit. It doesn't look like any spaghetti bolognese that I've had in the past. It's edible, but I started this before lunch. It's now nearly 8 p.m. So it doesn't matter what it tastes like because I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat it anyway. Leave a comment to let me know what you think I should make next time. Hopefully it'll take me less than seven hours. Thanks for watching.